Hey guys, thanks for checking in. Well, it's time for another episode of Big Blue Paddock and in this video, I take you to a small island on Australia's Great Barrier Reef and share an amazing encounter I captured at Dye with a pretty big and inquisitive manta ray. Well, if you're into those out of the blue moments in the ocean like we are, stick around. In this big blue paddock series, I wanna share some of the magic moments Di and I have been able to witness and capture on camera. So if you're into that kind of stuff, well, make sure you follow our adventures as we've got some pretty amazing moments with captured on the way. All right, guys, let's get into it. In this ep, we head up to Lady Elliot Island to share a magic moment we had with a pretty big and very inquisitive manta ray that was very interested in checking us out. Lady Elliot is located on the southern part of Australia's Great Barrier Reef and let me tell you this place is jam-packed with ocean experience. In Australia, this place is known as the home of the manta ray. Let me just preface that, that uh, whilst it's probably the best place in Australia you can see and experience manta rays, it is the wild and sometimes they're just not there. Now on this particular day, we had mantas. We had them on the surface, we had them down on the cleaning stations. We had mantas everywhere. One of the things I've found with mantas over the years is that they are pretty inquisitive, especially if you give them their space and just let them get comfortable with you being there. Personally, I think the key to getting a good manta shot if you're diving or snorkeling on the surface is to stay still, and if you're diving, stay as low as you can, at least until the manta approaches you. So many times I've been out filming mantas and have watched so-called professional or semi-professional photographers charging in towards the mantas and firing off their heavy artillery of strobes as they scream up to the manta. Yes, they might get that great shot, but for those of us shooting video or, or other photos and need more than one frame, the mantas don't normally like to hang around. So if you are out there with us in the water, be considerate and patient. Look, it doesn't always happen. Sometimes you can be as still as a rock and they'll have no interest in you and just go about doing their own thing and then swim off. Sometimes Di and I have waited on the bottom for nearly an entire dive to let them get comfortable with us being there. And when they are comfortable with you and they are interested in coming in for a closer look, man, they can really turn on the experience and come in for some really close interactions. Sit back and check this out for yourself. It's funny how it all played out. Broken dreams seldom get realized. For me, you were a part of life that escaped and left me outside.
Now here is probably one of my favorite shots of a Manta with die in slow-mo. I shot this almost 10 years ago, however, it's just such a magic moment between a Manta and a person. Anyway, here it is, enjoy. guys I hope you enjoyed that look I never get sick of filming mantas they're just always so much fun to be around and hey if you guys have had any magic moments with them look tell us about it in the comments tell us where you were what happened look it's this place is all about sharing sharing moments like that isn't it and uh, we love hearing about it anyway thanks for sticking around and if you don't want to miss more of our amazing encounters that we've captured on camera and you enjoyed this don't forget to follow our adventures we've still got quite a few more to go Anyway, that's it for this one, and we'll see you again soon with another magic moment captured on camera from somewhere in the big blue paddock. We got